stocks were actually down today, just yeah. so you know. Yeah. Wow. Well, over the past few years, the Martin Luther King Way corridor has made several strides towards redevelopment. Now the effort to revitalize the area is getting another push. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo is live in Sarasota with What's Planned. Dwayne. Well, Scott Jacqueline, in the past few years, we've seen a new medical practice and even a few restaurants coming up on the MLK corridor. But now, just recently, city commissioners approved a new cultural arts center right here in the heart of Newtown. Many folks are saying this project is well overdue. It's similar to Jetson Grimes's gallery, depicting the history and culture of North Sarasota. We'll be able to create a destination for people throughout, uh, outside of Sarasota and outside of the, uh, the, the Florida that come into the community. That destination will be a new cultural arts center located in the heart of the Newtown community. The city of Sarasota will allocate $200,000 to get this project up and running. University of Florida architect and construction students will help in the design. City Commissioner Willie Shaw points to the center jump-starting discussions on the topics of race and ethnicity. Being a native of the community and knowing its story, it isn't always told in broader circles. It's a, an, an opportunity to bring um, this portion of the story to a much broader audience. For Grimes, he says it will be a game changer for this community. I think our community as Newtown is going through a transition. And if we are not a community that is competitive with the rest of Sarasota, our community just would disappear. Now, at this point, the city and the Newtown Conservation Team have not picked out a site for this new center, but they do anticipate that it would take roughly three to four years to get everything complete. Reporting live in Sarasota, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News.